come back again. Now, how to clean your cookware, how to maintain um, the uh, cleanliness of your cookware. It's like all your investment, whether it be car or house, or any investment, you have to maintain it, you have to take care of it. And because this is the last one that touches the food, remember that your cookware is the last one that touches the food, okay? So you want to maintain the cleanliness, okay, of your cookware. Um, so how do we clean it? It's easy, okay? So for, for instance, this is our uh, EOC and it's the same way that we, cook, uh, we clean all our cookware. Uh, if you see a burn part, and you see that here, that's our burn part, and for other people, they say that's hard to clean. Uh, it's hard to clean if you're just ordinary, it's just using an ordinary stainless steel, like those 18 slash 10, 18 slash 20, or 18 slash um, uh, 8. So there's a the combination of metal stainless steel. And it's because they are porous, they absorb uh, burn food, and then when the pores close up, then that's the time for you. That's a time that is hard to clean your cookware. But in Salad Master, it's a non-porous metal. It only burns, if you burn your food, it only burns on the surface. It doesn't absorb that material into the inside the metal. And therefore, this can be easily cleaned. Alright? So while it's hot, or warm cookware, okay, you just get a hot water or a, a warm water from your electric kettle, which I'm holding it right now. It's one of the most uh, uh, popular uh, 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 stainless steel or uh, kettle we are using. Okay, and this is the hot water in there. I'm just gonna pour it in there, all right? And leave it for about uh, 10, 10 minutes. And that burn part will just uh, drip up or just melt, okay? It's just easily, you can easily just remove that burn part. All right? And if you don't have time to hand wash this, and by the way, you can emerge or submerge this to water. If you don't have time to wash it by hands, okay, just throw the water away. All right? Throw the water away, the water, huh? not the cookware. Okay? And then uh, throw the water away and then chuck it to your dishwasher. All our cookware are safe, immersible to water, even this electric skillet. Even our rice cooker is the MP5. You can immerse it to water. No water is gonna go inside. It's safe. All right. Then using this for the last six years, I'm cleaning this also with the use of uh, the dishwasher. After ten minutes, okay, you can just get your clean cleaner. You can use this ordinary. Just wipe it, or you get your paper towel and just wipe it. All right. I'll wait for another 10 minutes uh, before I throw the water away. I'll show you how easy that uh, burn part uh, degrades or remove. Okay? So that's the beauty of the titanium stainless steel. See you in a bit. Okay, so after 10 minutes, all right, so let's try to check this uh, EOC. All right, see if we can easily clean this as I promise. Now all those burned part, burned food, okay? We can just easily wipe out using a paper towel. Look at that. How easy to wipe all this up, okay? Using a paper towel. All those burned part, gone, okay? They're all gone. There we go. Now if you don't have time to hand wash this, you just have to uh, use your dishwasher, all right? Chuck the dishwasher, and you can just go back to whatever you're doing before that, all right? Let me just show you the hand wash. So you're also going to appreciate how to use the uh, Salad Master palette to maintain the shiny, the shining part of your cooker. All right, let's go. All right. So after we throw the the, the rest of the water, okay, uh, that we used to soak this. Uh, EOC. So this is what you have after we uh, throw the water away. So it's already clean. You just have to basically soak in there and clean it properly. Now, if you notice know there are white uh, uh, kind of color, that's all the, the discoloration of the food. It doesn't uh, 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 it doesn't absorb the cookware, so it stays on the surface of the titanium stainless steel. So this, to, to remove that, it's very easy, okay? You can just use an ordinary soap. You can just use a baking soda if you like. So in our case, there is a, um, 
a design a powder cleaning powder from salad master to maintain the cleanliness of this i just put a little bit you know you don't need to do this all the time just do it in once in a while and because i'm doing a demo i always do this in my all of my cookware that i might do a demo but um, for your um, your scheduled maintenance for your cookware okay you can just do it once a month or twice a month or any any time you like it okay so it's, uh, it's all up to you so a bit of uh that baking powder that uh, powder that cleaning powder a little bit of water sprinkle like that with your paper towel and just wipe it in a circular motion okay so this is the same technique that you can use uh to cook uh, to clean your salad master cookware right? this cookware that i'm using right now this is a six year old cookware this is the first cookware I ever used in 2014 exactly the same way I uh, maintain it after we use it we clean it there you go so that is now ready to rinse just have to rinse it a bit of soap okay a normal soap an ordinary one just put a little bit of that uh, soap wipe it like this okay very easy Right. and then clean it easily as you notice even i put water in there it's okay it's safe all right very safe Wipe this with a clean cloth, right? And there you go. Clean, safe, no contamination, no chemical impurities, and you are ready to cook your next meal. Thank you.